the house of prayer with Dr. Akatofe. But only speak a word. Matthew 8 verse 8. Join Dr. Akatofe as he teaches the word of God and prays with millions across the globe, strengthening our faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. Visit Amazon for a series of books authored by Dr. Toffe. Books titled Weaving the Web of Life, A Man with a Field, and Temptation with Purpose. The House of Prayer comes your way every Tuesday on YouTube via the channel The House of Prayer with Dr. Toffe. Please do subscribe, like, and share with others. The House of Prayer with Dr. Akatofe. Proclaiming Jesus Christ through the word and prayer. Welcome to the House of Prayer with Dr. Akatofe. Today our topic is Jesus at the well of Jacob. Jesus at the well of Jacob. We read a story in John chapter 4 from verse 1 to 9 where Jesus was said to have left Judea to go back to Galilee and he needed to go through Samaria and he came to a town in Samaria called Sychar near the plot of land that Jacob has given to his son Joseph and Jacob's well was there. And Jesus, as tired as he was from his journey, sat down by the well, and it was noon. At this time, his disciples had gone to the town to buy food. And here comes a Samaritan woman to draw water from the well. And Jesus said, to her, would you give me a drink? To which she responded, Sir, you are a Jew and I am a Samaritan. How can you ask me for a drink? But the Bible says that the Jews do not associate with the Samaritans. Now, it's a long story, but I want us to pause here and learn some few things. You know, when we think about Jesus, he is the Lord of all. As a matter of fact, the Bible says, through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made that has been made. John 1, 3. And the Apostle Paul buttress that further in Colossians 1 verse 16. For in him all things were created. Things in heaven and on earth. Visible and invisible. Whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities. And now this, all things have been created through him and for him. All things have been created through him and for him. And so the very woman standing in the presence of Jesus and questioning him being a Jew and asking for a drink from a Samaritan, she herself belonged to Jesus. The well, the water in the well all belongs to Jesus. And I think the psalmist captured it so well in Psalm 24 verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell there so everything that is on this earth belongs to Jesus. And you want to believe that something that belongs to you, if you have need of it, you will naturally receive it or take it. And yet here Jesus sat, tired or worried from his journey, and asking for a drink, and in a way being scolded, 
for being a Jew and asked him for a drink from a Samaritan. And truly we can all appreciate that everything that he suffered was for our sakes. And so the Bible says, for you know the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, and yet for your sakes, he became poor. And that through his poverty, you may be rich. Second Corinthians 8, verse 9. He was rich in all aspects of the world. And yet, he became poor. So that through his poverty, we may become rich. Likewise, he had to travel and grow weary and grow tired in our place so that in him, in his weariness, we may find rest for our weary soul. This is the case for us. We can only find rest in Jesus Christ because he stood in our place. He journeyed and he became worried so that indeed in him we may find rest. And truly he calls us to come to rest in him. And that is why in Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, he said to us, Come to me, all that are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. My question is, have you come to rest in him? If you have not, it's a simple matter. You have to come to faith in him. Acknowledging your sinfulness and believing that he came to die for you. And that he rose again to give you a right standing with God. And when you call on him, truly, you will find rest for your soul. And the psalmist captured it so well in Psalm 62, verse 1. Truly, my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. You know, as we have come to Jesus Christ, I believe we have all found rest for our souls. And yet we go through this life, as we journey through this life, we come to circumstances that otherwise burden us. We come to situations that otherwise cause us to grow weary. And we have a privilege to go to God in prayer. Apostle Peter said, cast your burdens onto him for he cares. First Peter chapter 5 verse 7. And I like what the songwriter wrote. He said, what a friend we have in Jesus. Our sins and graves to pay. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. And now hear this. He says, what peace we often forfeit. And what needless pain we often carry because we fail to carry everything to God in prayer. Jesus Christ stood in our place. He grew weary from his journey so that we can find rest in him. And so as you walk this journey of life and you come to situations that will otherwise overwhelm you, will otherwise will cause you to grow weary, oh, I will encourage you to abide in the rest of Christ and carry everything to God in prayer. He cares and he will carry those burdens for you. Otherwise, 
if you desire to carry them yourself, you're going to be overwhelmed and grow weary and sometimes fall into depression just like unbelievers. My prayer is that we'll come to the consciousness that Christ, everything that he did, including the journey that he took and he was tired, he did that for our sake so we can find rest in him. And let us live in that consciousness so that in all situations we bring our burdens to him and he will carry them for us. Now the narrative was that Jesus was sitting by a well that had connection to Joseph and Jacob. The Bible, as a matter of fact, said Jacob's well was there. And it was on the plot of land that Jacob has given to his son, Joseph. Jacob, Joseph, a well. Does that ring a bell with you? You remember in Genesis chapter 37, Jacob had sent his son Joseph to go and check on the welfare of his brothers. And they rejected him, threw him in a pit, and later sold him into slavery, essentially re rejecting their own brother. And so when Jesus sat by the well, <laughs> that belongs to Joseph, and Jacob, it's a reminder that, that like Joseph, he too will be rejected. And truly he was rejected. And so the Bible says of him, he was in the world. And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to his own, but his own did not receive him. He came to his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet, to all who did receive him, those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decisions, or husband, husband's will, but born of God. John 1, 10 to 13. Jesus indeed was rejected. And yet in his rejection, we find acceptance in God. And so whenever you read this story and you come to the place where Jesus sat by the well, that belonged to Jacob and Joseph, it's a reminder that Jesus Christ was rejected. And for Joseph, his brothers thought they were rejecting him, selling him into slavery so they could have nothing to do with him again. And yet it was God's for, for ordained plan that it would be so, that they could have salvation from the starvation that had hit the land and the nation of Israel will be born as they sojourned in Egypt. You can read that in Psalm 105, verses 18 to 45. Likewise, when they thought they have registered Jesus, the Apostle, Paul, the Apostle Peter said, This man was handed to you by God's deliberate plan and for knowledge and you talking about the Jews and you with the help of wicked men put him to death nailing him to the cross 
essentially thinking. They have rejected him and made an end of him. And yet, like I said, in his rejection, we find acceptance in God. And so the Bible says, through him, we have access to the Father by one spirit, whether Jews or Gentiles. And so in this life, Maybe you live in a place where because of your, your nature or the color of your skin, because of your descent, people will refuse to give you water. People will refuse to give you a drink. People will refuse to sit with you. But irrespective of how they treat you, know that you have acceptance in God through Jesus Christ and for me and I believe for you that is all that matters don't live your life being feeling being rejected for Christ sat by that well that belongs to Jacob and Joseph reminding us that he will be rejected and through his rejection we can find acceptance in God. Let that mind be in you so that when people begin to reject you, know that your Lord Jesus Christ was rejected as well. And irrespective of that rejection, he still fulfilled the purpose that God has ordained for him. So live in that mindset and God be your help to know that Christ grew weary in his journey for your sake. May the God of heaven continually be your help to carry all your burdens to him in prayer. May the God of heaven continually empower you to live as someone who is accepted by God. In the name of Jesus. And did Jesus Christ call out on all humanity to come to him that they may find rest for their soul? And if you are listening to me and you don't know this Jesus, why don't you confess your sins and come to him that you may find rest for your soul? You know, we live in a world that is very chaotic, that is spinning around. And for those who trust in God, those who trust in Jesus and abide in his love, abide in his presence, continually find rest for their soul. And I want to encourage you to come to Jesus. And if you want to come to him, why don't you pray this prayer with me? Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner and I know I cannot help myself out of my sinful condition, but I believe you can. I believe you came to die for my sins. I believe you died and rose again for my justification. Lord Jesus, I confess you and declare you as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer, oh yes, the peace of God has come into your heart. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ will continue to fill your heart with your, his love. Fill your heart with his presence. And be assured that irrespective of life throws, what life throws at you, you can find rest indeed in Jesus Christ. Abide in his rest. And like the psalmist, always remember that truly, your soul find rest in God and your salvation comes from him. God bless you and make you a blessing. Amen. The House of Prayer with Dr. Akatafe proclaiming Jesus Christ through the word and prayer.